Yu-Gi-Oh! Singles versus Sealed Product. This is kind of the big, you know, debate right now in the community. A lot of people feel like, you know, it, it, it's divisive, right? Should you buy Sealed Product? Should you only buy singles? When you listen to different people, they'll tell you different things. Some, you know, YouTube channels are like, don't buy these sealed products, buy singles, it saves you money, it's more worth it, stuff's short printed. Other people will say, well, you know, you should buy a sealed product to support your local shop, or maybe you like opening packs, or whatever, it's, you're supporting the evil Konami. What is our verdict on this? And I think this will be useful, you know, intuitive, because we've got three sort of different perspectives on buying sealed product on our couch right now. So, we have Trill, who kind of notoriously not a big sealed product buyer. Maybe buy some singles here and there, that's about it. Larry, who actually buys quite a bit of single product, or sealed product, huh? Yeah. And yeah. then we have- Whenever, whenever I have extra $20, I- Then we have Alex, who- Get, get whatever's good. $20. Alex is kind of in the middle, buys $20. some singles. $20. But more on the casual end. So you're, you're, you buy like <laughs> more stuff for like the casual decks, right? Yeah, I like to just buy whatever. Okay, so, this will be fun. Let's start with a card that might be necessary for a casual deck, like say, the Evil Eye of Serzil. That yeah. deck, right? Okay. I hate that card. So, <laughs> this, so this product comes yeah. out. The whole, the whole couch, he's like, I'm like, ooh. So, the Infinity Chasers comes out, and it's got these three cool decks. It's got Evil Eyes, it's got Witchcrafters, it's got Infinitrax. None of these decks are all, like... All three decks look very cool, look very interesting. Yeah, they're cool, they're unique. Different play styles. These are True. very cool new decks. Not really tournament level decks. You know, you're not expecting them to win the next YCS, yes, but they're really neat, it right? It could be your next fun deck. Or at least it could have been. It's a casual locals deck where you can take and have a good old time. So you buy a box of this set, right? You, you buy a box, cost you like, you know, 55 bucks, 60 bucks, right? You buy it, and you can't build nothing. And you don't, well, you don't pull your Witchcrafter creation that you need to build your Witchcrafter deck. But it's okay, you can always buy a second box, right? So you do, and you buy a second box, and you still don't pull it. What are, you, what are you guys' feelings? How does that, what's that like? Just on that specific topic? In Similar ones. Oh, go ahead. I hate it. I hate it so much. I looked so much forward to playing Evil Eyes. I even built the deck all my ago and knew exactly what cards I wanted for the deck already. And then I had the nerve to short print Serzio to the point where I either have to buy one or two more boxes or buy singles online, but since it was short printed, the singles were more expensive. Yeah, so that's the thing, and that happens. Doesn't now, you really feel. opposite end of the spectrum, a tournament viable card. Din Girsu, since Trail plays Orcus, this is relative to you. So Din Girsu comes out, it's like 30 bucks, let's say. Would you take your chances with a box, or would you just buy the card as a single? A box will cost you 60 bucks, maybe you'll pull it in and more. Or you just buy, you know, your single one, <coughs> one treasure. On a, on, on, for Trail. On a competitive for whoever. With me, um, and I have way more on this topic besides what we're talking about specifically. Uh, but on a competitive end, I'd probably just buy the single card itself um, because I come. I tend to find well, one, um, if you are like, if you're like a fully competitive player, we don't really have a lot of space for other stuff that we're not using. We only want what we plan to use. So let's say a box costs fifty, sixty dollars, and everything gears to cost thirty dollars. I'm pretty sure I can find another thirty dollars with other cards that I would need for my deck to go along with that thing gears to equal up to the price. I mean, I guess quantity wise. It wouldn't, it wouldn't, it wouldn't equate, but quality-wise, I'd be more than pleased with just buying the singles. Mm, I disagree. I if so. it's a short printed card for an, an important um, meta deck, I just don't play the deck. Yeah. Move on. No, well, it, oh, it, yeah, it, it, it depends yeah. on what... you for as a competitive player, so a, I plan on playing that deck. Then listen, I, mean, I will say, it depends so. on your, like, if it's a deck that you want, like, cause I know I want to play this. I'm playing right. this deck, I, I research it, I know what the cards, I know what they do. I'm playing this. But I wager that as a competitive player, you'd be more flexible to simply not playing a deck that simply if isn't turning them out to be what you want in the end. I mean, but, I mean, but that's the thing, like, like, like Larry just said, I mean, I practice with this deck, I know the ins then, and out, this is what then, I'm set then, on playing. Then, then it's better to just go, go out and buy the singles and themselves. And so, regardless of the yeah. price, you're just going to go for it, right? Well, yes, Most I mean, as, as a, yeah, remember, this is on the competitive side, if I were casual or semi-casual, 
then I'm pretty sure I wouldn't. I mean, I'd be on that on the so fence. So of, just talking economics is more economical if that's the way the route you're going to just buy the car. Because my thing is, I mean, need. economical. There is no return. On I'm not. I'm, I'm not talking economical at all. My thing is simply being that if I if I buy this box and I don't get it, I have to buy another box, or I might, or, and, I, or and, I have to buy the same. Then, then, then under that mindset, he has wasted his money on. I have wasted my money on this box because because there's nothing else money. in there that he wants or even cares about. So I mean, yeah, and, that, and, and that does happen to me from time to time. I mean, and just me personally. I mean, I'll, there'll be like this one great card. In a set that I mean, I just want, but I don't want the rest of these cards that come around it. I just want that card, so, so I'm just, I mean, so that's, they're useless. Yeah, that's my that's my goal. I mean, and I mean, I've been in the game for a long time. Like I said, like as a competitive player, you don't have a lot of space for a lot of other cards that you're not going to use. All these other commons and things that come in this box, what am I ever going to do with them, right? You know yeah, I mean? most I mean, they're going to sit in big those boxes. They're going to sit right? They're going to be sitting in big boxes. And granted, I have friends that I can play with and friends that may need things. But if I'm specifically thinking about this event that I'm trying to go to, then you know. My focus is on this thing here, so that I gotta get. So, I mean, I think this is just me, of course. So, how do we feel in general then about like short prints, whether it's from a casual perspective or a competitive like perspective? I mean, oh, we feel like Alex. There, yeah, well, I, well, well sure, unified. No, no, I feel like Larry. Alex. What do you? I mean, it sounds like Larry's got a. I got. Well, he's a fence rider. It's not a fence rider. It's just kind of one of those. I would say this. It's one of those things that's just gonna happen. I mean, so long as there are cars that people want more than cars that other people want. There's gonna be short prints. Yeah, I agree with that part. I mean, I don't think there needs to be short prints. Yeah, because, that's the because, question. Because, because, should there because be? Konami is a business and their business is making money, there is gonna be short prints. I just don't know if that. I don't. Because no. if there wasn't but short prints. they can make money and not be a short print, though. Because if there wasn't short prints, then people would buy one pack, get everything they need, and they would never buy okay, no. one. Okay, no. made wasn't short print, and it still ended up being $120. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. to, to clarify what so, I mean by that, I by short prints, I mean, okay, so people open several cases of mm-hmm. this new set. Let's say Savage Strike. And Valkyrie Sesh. <laughs> is a secret rare card in that set. It is. And Fantastical you a Dragon. Whole bunch of them. Fantastical Dragon Phantasma is a secret in that set. This person opens dozens and dozens of cases and they pull 80 Valkyrie Sests, 80 of some other secret. Suspiciously, they only pull 30 Pot of Extravagance and only like 28 Phantasmas. What's going on here? If, if it looks you know, like a duck, quacks like a duck, most times so, it's a duck. But so, like, is that okay? I mean, if, if all the cards are secret rare, shouldn't there be an equal likelihood of... It's... Or not, is it okay for... It okay? No. I mean, it's, it's not okay in the definition of is that fair? No, it's not. But... It's a bait and switch to it's, people it's, it's buy, what buy it the is. product. People are accepting it because of what they do, but it's not quite fair to a consumer when you... Market it as having the same likelihood of anything else, right? But that doesn't. It's a bit of a betrayal. I agree. And we can accept that because we don't have much of a choice. And also, it does cause vendors have to spend more on product in order to get a stock of these short printed cards. If I if I could be honest, I don't really care about vendors. I don't either. But it makes Konami money. That's why they it make some money. I mean, even the vendors though do have an effect on you if you're trying to buy a single different TCG player. I mean, a lot of people sell this stuff on here, and Fantasme wouldn't or would it be eighty dollars if it but was like didn't buy them you know, easier to get? Like it's hard to say. I mean, and so okay, if a new player is getting into that's the what game, I'm saying. If if, if 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 everybody stood together and said this car is eighty dollars, I ain't paying eighty dollars for the card. The card then has to go down in this price. That's a whole other topic. I mean, it, yeah, that's that. <laughs> yeah, that's, to that competitive mindset, that what they need way. for their deck and all that. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, so long as there are people who are willing to pay that, they're going to pay mm-hmm. that, and they're going to get that. And my thing when it comes to singles versus sealed, I mean, I know, like you say, I'm, I'm probably going to pay, it buys the least amount of sealed on this couch. I never talked about my thing. My, but but I'm, I'm kind of a fence rider like Larry when it, when it comes to this specific topic because uh, I'm of the belief of, Supporting my, my, my locals. So I have bought boxes from my locals knowing I probably don't really need them. Like, well, what's the set that the Thunder Dragons came out of? Uh, Soul Fusion. Soul Fusion. I was not a huge fan of that set because I wasn't really playing much from that set. But for some reason, I wanted to see what I could pull. So I, I bought, I'm pretty sure I bought a couple boxes from my locals because I'm I of the belief of supporting your locals. I'm a competitive player, but our locals need to make money to stay open for us to have the locals. So I don't mind every now and then dipping in and buying sealed. Like I say, I'm, I'm not the least amount here, but like I say I do feel like buying sealed won't hurt you because you are helping support something, and this is also for you just as much as it is for the person that's selling it. In in that case, like I say, in my locals, 
we want the local to stay open, they gotta have money to pay the bills. So sure, I'll buy a box or two here and there, you know what I mean? I mean, and they have so, uh, singles as well, I buy the singles. I'm always gonna be for singles over singles, so, we know that. Mm -hmm. But I want to support locals, and I feel like you all well, should support say, the locals. If, well. if I do have to buy singles, I will go to the locals and try to yeah, and hopefully and try to the get locals them from them. First. Exactly. Most people just kind of flood straight to TCG players because they know eBay told them to they're gonna get them. I mean, that's fair. I, I mean, to start no, with no singles first. first. I get the seal product first. Get as much as I can from that. Maybe mm -hmm. one or two boxes, or maybe more if it's really hot. Fair but enough. after that, then it's all single products only. Oh, well, whatever you need. It oh, so so you're more of like a mix then. Yeah. Like, see what you can get out of a couple of boxes or whatever. And then I feel like it's no the the investment isn't, isn't worth it anymore after a certain point, and so I start buying mm -hmm. single cards. At, at some point, at some I said hurt. Uh, <laughs> at some point, yes, buying whatever sealed product it is is not worth it anymore. And after, I think that's the point a of diminishing shelf returns. Life is just so that, a new player. I mean, those cards are probably gonna stay in that box or that pack forever. A new player just got into the game. What would you recommend them to buy first? They have a hundred bucks. See structure decks. I was structure decks. Pick okay, it, one at a time. So, true. Sealed. sealed. Sealed, like a box or just like specific? Anything sealed. I don't think they should go for singles. Okay. I think they should go for they'll, sealed. They'll, because they'll, they'll waste that hundred dollars on two singles. That'll be it. That, that, there's, that, there's that. And also, if you're new to the game anyway, the more cards you have, the better chance you have of getting other cards from other people. I mean, that's kind of how you start off. It's kind of how it starts off. So, I think seal is always a better way to go in the beginning. Were you guys? I said structure deck. I wouldn't go a sealed, like, full box of pack of cards yet because, like I said, that can be kind of overbearing because then you have too many cards. You don't know what the hell you're doing. Get you some structure decks. Like, okay, this structure deck has a certain, learn how to play that that way. And now then, after you realize this card I need for this structure deck to make it better, is it some box of seal powder? I can get that box of seal along with some other trade bake stuff that could give me what I really need. Yeah, I'll keep it simple with a new player. Get three of a structure deck that you think looks cool. Learn that deck in and out without adding anything to it. Play it against people, see what happens. And only then do they start thinking about modding the deck by buying singles or looking into what comes out next and getting product that might help you make new decks. But I really want a new player to really get comfortable with the game first. So, a structure deck, learn that thing in and out, and then learn if you even like this game. Okay, and so I guess to sort of wrap it up then, when you see people, you know, going on one extreme or the other, right? Like when there's people and they're like, only buy singles, never buy sealed product, don't buy this box, don't buy this pack, don't buy this pack, just buy the singles. Or, you know, on the other end of the extreme, do you, like, where do we fall on that, like, long spectrum? In, Overall, any extreme one way or the other is, I would say, not correct. To say to only to tell someone only buy singles, and never buy packs, as a whole, is hurting the market. To tell someone to only buy packs, and never buy singles, they will never get what they will, what they're looking for ever. Not in any, yeah, and <laughs> not not bad. So, like I said, it depends on what you what do you want out of this game. For me. I like buying packs. I like opening packs. It's all, I, I don't say not the pessimist in me, but I always buy a pack or a box expecting nothing. Because that. Care. I don't care what you buy, as long as you buy it on tcgplayer.com. Because, wow. Huh? He, he just, ah, he's like, oh, please. Please, tcg. Oh, because that way, what was I saying? <laughs> <laughs> he made me lose my train of thought. Uh, so, <laughs> y'all are <laughs> I feel you like you should go with whatever your wallet allows. That's what I'm saying. My thing is, I can tell you to buy singles, I can tell you to buy sealed. If your wallet well, it can, can substantiate you buying this high as Fantasmic for $80 and you want it, then you go for it. But if it can't, if you feel like you got a better chance yeah. of trying to pull one with this $50 box, you go for that. Yeah, as long as you make sure you have enough money to buy your deodorant as well, of course. But I'm all, about, I'm all about following your wallet. I mean, I would not be able. To, I wouldn't be able to buy singles that are expensive if I didn't think I could cover it. Like, I'm not gonna buy a Yu-Gi-Oh card over paying my bills. So, if I'm buying singles that are expensive, I make sure this is part of my budget and, and it won't put me under to get it. So, you go for whatever your wallet can handle. 